we went to a few restaurants while on Isla. We went to a place called The Patio, which had outside seating and live music. That was for dinner. We went to a steakhouse. Um, I'll write up the name and the full written review. I can't remember right now, but the steak was pretty good. Um, people really liked it overall. Uh, there was someone that got the filet mignon and they really liked it. Someone got this other kind of steak. It was very good. I shared a steak with my friend. It was enough food. And then the last night we went to this really good Mediterranean restaurant. Um, and oh, it's very loud. So yeah, uh, that was really good. The best breakfast place we found was this place called Rooster and they had like uh, breakfast and bagel sandwiches and it was so good that we went two mornings there. So that was really great. Um, nightlife on the island, there are some bars, but it's kind of a really quiet island. This is not a place to go if you're into like big, big, big parties. It's a good place to go. If you just want to have a relaxing vacation, sit in a nice restaurant, have a drink with friends or family, you know, with a girlfriend or something, like that's all really good. You could bring kids to this island really easily, very family friendly. Um, but I wouldn't say the nightlife was that amazing or anything. Uh, most of the bars close on the early side, but then there's this one beach hostel bar that's like an outside sand beach bar, and that's open until three, I think. Um, we never stayed out that late on Isla. It wasn't like the party type of place, but I really think that it had a really good atmosphere, and there was a lot of international travelers there, and just people staying in the hostel, and I think it was like a really cool environment. So I would definitely recommend Isla. Uh, for activities, we spent one day doing um, a snorkel tour and I found out about it by, we were just walking down the main street and there was like a little storefront that sold tour packages and they had uh, scuba stuff and other tours but then I asked about a snorkel tour and it turned out for only 35 US dollars there was a pretty much a four hour excursion that included two snorkeling sites, all the equipment, and the uh, lunch, which was like um, grilled fish. Uh, and it was really great. I thought that was like a really good tour. I thought it was really good value. They make you wear life vests, but I'm actually glad about that because I'm not really big on swimming. I mean, I can swim, but I feel much safer with a life jacket anyway. Um, the fish, I saw some really pretty fish. Uh, it wasn't, it's not the best snorkeling in the world. Like it's not at all like Hawaii or something like that. Like I've snorkeled in Hawaii. I've seen amazing, amazing snorkeling. This was good snorkeling. I saw a lot of pretty fish, but the water wasn't super clear, and I wouldn't say it's like a place to go specifically for snorkeling, but they definitely had some cool things underwater that they made to create like false reefs. Like there was a car underwater. There was like these um, statues of women, uh, art, very artistic. So that was kind of cool just to see. Um, but I don't think that it, I would say it was like a, no one's gonna come from internationally just to snorkel there, you know, but if you're there and you want to go snorkeling There's definitely a good option available. So I'd recommend that The other thing I did that wasn't so touristy, but it was an experience was my friend and I went jogging um, All the way across the island. We didn't get all the way to the south of the island, but we ran about Two and a half miles down and then two and a half miles up and definitely what we realized is that the middle of the island Like once you get out of the tourist area is really run down. It looks very third world um, it's not like a really nice place and from doing that run we realized that we didn't really want to rent a golf cart to go explore the other side of the island so we just didn't but that was a good experience just to go running and it felt healthy to like exercise you know um, so that was kind of the review of Isla Mujeres I think that overall the food was pretty good I wasn't the only thing that was disappointing was the first day breakfast which was a restaurant on the beach I'll try to find out where it was later when I look on Google and other than that, like I really feel like the, the whole experience of Isla Mujeres was just a really strong experience and a lot of that was due to the hotel we stayed at, the Ixtel, so I highly recommend the Ixtel. I highly re recommend staying on Playa Norte. It was so easy just to walk out of my hotel room and the beach was 30 feet away or something. I mean, it was amazing. So that experience, I can't tell you enough how positive it was. Um, and then to get off the island, we had another two friends with us, so we, the four of us shared a short taxi ride to the port. We got back on the port and 
then we took the boat, the ferry across back to the mainland, and then we took a uh, van with another family of two people and the baby. So there were like six of six adults and a baby, and we shared the ride down to Playa del Carmen. So I'll talk more about that next.